Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. Stay tuned until the end for a special offer. Hello dear friends, today's oil painting time lapse is a small painting that measures about 6 by 10 inches and it's a study for an upcoming larger piece. And sadly, due to YouTube's needlessly strict policies on nudity, I have to censor parts of the body. But if you'd like to see an uncensored 60 minute tutorial of this video, along with hundreds of hours of exclusive content and monthly art rewards, feel free to check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash happydartist. Also, there's a pinned comment with a link to a survey that I would love your input on in order to improve future Patreon and YouTube content. Thanks in advance for your feedback. This study is painted from life and encompasses the first week of a three-week pose in class. This is the last live model session of the school year, so I really want to make it count. For these longer poses, I really like to use the first week to do a small study to accurately test out and plan for the bigger final piece. I don't usually film this initial first step of doing a small study, so I thought it would be interesting to show you all what this beginning process is like. One of the most important things art school has taught me is the value in being more patient and intentional with the preparation stage before we rush into painting the final piece. So I wanted to make sure that I wasn't overlooking that on my channel. I'm using a sheet of oil paper that I primed with a layer of acrylic gesso and then I toned with Bohemian Green Earth oil paint from the Williamsburg brand. I like painting the figure a bit smaller on a larger surface so that I can build up the environment around her and play with different croppings and aspect ratios all revolving around the shape and gesture of the figure and I have more flexibility when it comes to deciding how much I want the environment to fill up the entire composition. I initially started off with a monochromatic grisaille style first pass using titanium white and bohemian green earth, focusing only on the values and lighting and anatomical accuracy. Then I started to build the environment around her once I finished the figure. Our lovely model is sitting on a bench in the middle of our classroom, but like with all my other pieces, I wanted to transport her into a more magical fantasy world instead. So I decided to put her in kind of a classical inspired waterfall backdrop. I first decided to put the waterfall to the left of the figure and then later would change my mind to uh, try placing the waterfall on the right side instead. Usually I would use digital painting for this step so I could easily have two versions to compare, but this time I wanted to try testing and experimenting with oils instead, because to be honest, it takes me less time to just quickly block in these basic background shapes with oil paint than it does for me to wrangle with simulated oil paint on Procreate using my iPad. Plus, painting with oils is just infinitely more fun for me and I can always just compare two photos of this study in different stages. After finishing the monochromatic pass, I layered a color pass on top. 
I made sure to incorporate some of the colors from the figure into the environment and vice versa so that the piece feels coherent as light would realistically bounce from adjacent elements onto each other. This is also the step where I moved the position of the waterfall from the left to the right and though I was happy with it, once I showed my teacher the new version, he told me he actually preferred the waterfall to be on the left where it used to be. And now that he said it, I can't unsee it and I'm starting to want the waterfall to be on the left as well. So when I upload my follow-up videos for this piece, you may see the waterfall move around again. Oh well. But that's kind of the way art works sometimes. Sometimes you don't know what you want and you don't know what works and what doesn't work until you can visualize it and it's totally fine to change your mind in the pursuit of aesthetic perfection. Anyways, we are now reaching the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching and please stay tuned for part two and maybe part three coming up in the near future as I start on the larger painting next, which will likely be around three feet tall. Hope you all are having a great day and I hope to catch you in the next video. And of course, you guessed it, my eternal never-ending sale is still going on in my shop. So if you'd like 20% off your order of prints and originals, just enter the code HOLIDAY at happyd-artist.com. And if you're interested in learning more about how to paint and draw, I have lots of art educational content on my Patreon page, including exclusive video tutorials, step-by-step -step photo tutorials, live streams, podcasts, and even surprise art gift boxes. All available at patreon.com slash happydartist. I'd love to have you join my Patreon family. I wanted to quickly thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video and for supporting my channel and the art community. I've actually enjoyed using Squarespace for four years now to build and host my online shop and website. So whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com and visit squarespace.com slash happydartist for 10% off your first purchase. Also, if you want to check out more artworks, works in progress, and just random daily artist adventures, feel free to check out my Instagram and you can follow me at the handle at happydartist.